What do you do when you have meads that don't pan out in the way you want? Well, I, I had two meads do that, and I had to come up with a creative way to fix my problem. I'm specifically talking about two videoed meads I did. I made a coffee blossom boche, which was the process of heating up the honey. It was coffee blossom honey, so it had some interesting notes, and the boche was there. I kind of uh, under bocheted the honey, and so it didn't have enough complexity to make it super interesting. So I made a video on that. There will be a video on it. You'll see that. And then on the flip side, I had a raspberry mead that I had made. I used a puree, and it just didn't come out like extremely raspberry y enough for it to be like amazing. And I'll have a video on that one as well. I had both of these meads and I thought to myself, okay, what can I do to fix them? And then I, I thought about it. What if I were to combine them and do something with them? So that's exactly what I did. I blended these two meads together into one. I did a test batch first uh, of one gallon because they were both like four gallons a piece. So I did a test batch, made a gallon of blended coffee blossom boche and this raspberry mead then I wanted to make it even more interesting. So I threw in more raspberries because I felt like that was gonna help the profile. And a complimentary pairing of cacao nibs, or chocolate, and ancho chili. Now I know some of you are going, well, that's weird, ancho chili. I was thinking like a roasty chocolate mead with raspberry. Let the coffee blossom honey boche side continue to give some caramely notes. So I did that, basically all I did was roast the cacao nibs, get some dried ancho chili from the store, which is really cheap, chop, chop open those, put it into a baggie, throw that into the brew with some uh, more raspberries on top of all that, and leave it for a long time, honestly. Because there's alcohol content, it kind of protected those raspberries from any further fermentation. I let that sit for quite some time, honestly. I don't really rem remember how long I did, but essentially what I have is this right here, this very nice color mead. Now this mead is far more complex and interesting because of the new flavor components and profiles that I added. It's got some roastiness with the chocolate um, from the ancho chili. I could probably, Go deeper with the ancho chili, which I probably will, to be honest with you, make it more interesting and make it more roasty. Chocolate's there, raspberries there. It's just got more character and it's more fun. So all I did to fix this mead, because the other two weren't bad by any means. They were just like fives out of 10 or six out of 10, maybe a max. And I wanted to make it a solid eight or nine, or hopefully 10, if I'm really killing it. All I did was combine them. And I say this because you're gonna run into a situation where you make a mead and you don't know what to do with it. It might not have ended the way you wanted to. So you can of course keep adapting said mead, throw more flavors into it specifically. But if you have something you can blend it with, then blend the two and see what happens. You'd be surprised at what kind of flavors you'll get from a blended mead inversion. Like I said, they're, go they're both good individually, but they're way better together. Now, I took this brew to my friends over at Claw Hammer Supply, and uh, we hung out for a weekend and just kind of brewed a beer. I brewed a braggot with them on their setup, and they tasted some of my meads. So let's hop over to the tasting of this mead with them. Uh, you Ooh, know what? It's okay. Now. Okay. <laughs> so this, this is a lot of flavors, and this is uh, probably six, eight Ooh. months old at this point. Yeah after blending and things. It is, I have sent it off to some comps with some uh, good success, which has been fun. Hey, can you just do me a real quick, real, uh, give me an ingredients rundown one more time. All they just real right. quick, list them off. Cause I was just trying to come up with the other letter, like well, for the acronym that had artisanal in it. So, <laughs> so while you explain that first part. Coffee blossom honey. <laughs> yeah. Raspberry blossom honey. Yep. Raspberries. Yep. Ancho chili. Yeah. Uh, uh, Oh my gosh, I'm blanking. Cacao nibs. Cacao nibs. Yep. Where's my M coming from? Uh, money. Money, is it the money <laughs> that I missed? Ancho, M is like a mystery. There's the mystery. Was it the heat? The M is mystery. Literally stands for mystery. Yeah. 
I should have called it craw, but maybe <laughs> craw wasn't as cool as cram. Okay. So, what do you get on the nose? What's your oh, your nose speaking to you? Blew it Saying. Out. I always do the shoulder check. You Reset it. Smell your smell your not armpit? your pit, not your pit, but your like your <laughs> got back from the shirt. <laughs> I mean, you can smell your pit. That's a reset right there. I, when I first, I think I blew my nose up. But when I first went in, I was getting like the cacao and raspberry yeah. pretty heavy. But now, I think I've been in there a little bit too long. And um, M is me. Yeah. What? How did I forget that? <laughs> M is me. No wonder. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm guessing it has something to do with our. Um, the day we had yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little it's cloudy like, what's myself. the M here? Hmm. Yeah, my, it, yeah, it would be like, um, it'd be, for me, it would be like raspberry chocolate. You, you had get like, ra uh, chocolate, like dark mm -hmm. chocolate with raspberries in it. That's kind of what it smells like to me. Yeah, it's kind of like if you do a dark stout that has yeah, like- Yeah, I was the, thinking the same the, thing. Like a dark stereo like raspberries, yeah. Yeah. And then the color is coming from like the answer chilies or? Well, the red definitely from the raspberry, but the then raspberry, that- gotcha. Chili might have gone and made it so, a little darker, but or the cacao, you know, it's going to add a little yeah. bit of what, darkness. Was the raspberry not fermented? Was it stabilized before the raspberry? Because if you ferment raspberry, won't it go clear? Or? It. Oh, well, there's been a lot of raspberry introduced in this bag. Gotcha. Boy. The first it, time gotcha. it was not. For, it was not stabilized. The second time it was. Okay, gotcha. Again, man, this is delicious. Thank you. Like very good, excellent. Um, very sweet. Yeah. Again, like from in my you know for my palate, I would put this in like the category of like dessert, oh, wine, or something like that. Like I would only drink a small glass. Yeah. At some point, um, but the flavors are really nice. Like raspberries coming through. Um, the chocolate more so on the nose, but I feel like it it gives you like a tanniny feel, like maybe yeah. it just what's drying my tongue out, which right. I like that, and that helps balance the sweetness. Mm -hmm. uh, so really good, man. Thank you. I give it a ten of ten. Do you get any chili flavor in there? Um, mm, that's the a intro, good it's like a roasty. I feel like if anything, it's just like a subtle wit, like breeze on the wind. There, I get a. Uh, I can't tell in the yeah. end if that's alcohol heat or mm. if that's chili heat, but yeah. it's very subtle. Yeah. And at first I thought it was alcohol heat, yeah. just a, ever so slight, not in a bad way, but kind of dries the tongue out wants you to go back in for another sip. That could be mm. the chili heat. Yep. Um, but the raspberry flavor is dominant for mm. sure. Like it comes through, I don't know if I've ever had a raspberry alcoholic beverage that the raspberry pops like as hard as this mm. in like a good way. Like, cause typically it'll be a little bit muted, but I think, did you back sweeten with the raspberries? Uh, they're post stabilizing. So yeah, there's some okay, sweetness. So from that's it. probably why too, cause you, you're putting, you, it's not being fermented right. out. And I'm, I'm used to having the raspberry, you know, put in during fermentation. So right. you're scrubbing a lot, you're getting a little bit, but this is like punching you in the face in like a nice <laughs> way. Um, it's a nice punch. It's good. Again, Gentle. very well balanced, very nice. Definitely on the sweet side, like would be a good, like a dessert wine, like a port like situation. Mm -hmm. um, maybe a little, little glass. Yeah, you're you not, know. this is the one, the, about the amount of this I want. Yeah. yeah, but again, very, very well balanced. I mean, it's just wild the amount of flavors because it's so far outside of what I would traditionally think of a mead just because I have so limited mead experience yeah. that it's been really cool just to see how far you guys are pushing the hobby. Yeah. Um, and it's cool to, you know, cause like, you know, obviously the same thing happens in brewing and distilling, but I'm just not in tune with the mead side. Right, yeah. So it's, it's very cool that, you know, everyone's kind of pushing the envelope and, yeah. and, you know, trying new things. And like, this was like, okay, these two by themselves aren't that great, but I'm gonna put them together and then add some more things to cut, kind of like you're blending a whiskey mm -hmm. or blending an aged right. um, beer. You know, it's like the same idea, it's like, well, let's make it really good by yeah. changing it completely as to what it was. So. Well, that's what I, I recommend people to try. If you have something that doesn't taste good, blend it with something else. See yeah. if you can make it work. Yeah. You'll save yourself some money in the long run too. Cause this by themselves, they were okay. And so these, this yeah. combo is pretty good. Mm -hmm. 
I get the um only like the ancho chilies like just only ever so slightly kind of like maybe like a peppery mm -hmm. kind of when you breathe out after you're done drinking it even. Uh. <laughs> well, thank you guys for uh, <laughs> being willing to house me over the week. If you yeah, haven't man. checked out Kalaheimer Supply, the YouTube channel and or the equipment company, um, I'll put links below. They've got a bunch of brewing equipment, beer, distilling. If that's your vibe as well. Yeah. And they an awesome YouTube channel. Um, and I'll be on a video at some point in the future with them. Yeah. So probably it'll be out by the time this video is out. Sweet, if dude. If my timeline is right. But Thank, thanks for stopping by. It's yeah, been man. really fun and really good getting to know you. So, so. big shout out to it. Claw Hammer and uh, we'll hopefully I'll be back again in the future. Hell right. yeah. yeah. You're welcome back anytime. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>